The Earth Code. What is it? After believing the Earth Code had been revealed to me shortly after, and I mean within minutes, of an out-of-body experience, I was moved to finally complete my book, The Earth Code at Hand, some 30 years later. Having failed at several attempts to do such, which started in 1992 and was a contributing factor to my divorce in 1995. Another attempt in 1997 while recuperating from back surgery, fizzled. Then again in 2000, having finally become computer literate and having saved this attempt on a floppy disk, then came 2001 and 9-11, and believing no one would be interested in such nonsense. I was driven to put it in the floppy drive and complete my task on 5-26-2005. Luckily, I still owned a relic with a floppy drive, once published and released coincidentally on my birthday in 2005, with a seven-year contract and my publisher owning all rights to my book for seven years, I accomplished nothing by being a published author, other than the ego builder it had become. Now some 41 years later, and a lifetime's worth of experience living and breathing after infecting my brain with this, what I like to call a Pentium processor for the mind, I am now ready to share it openly with those having possession of a brain of their own. Synchronistically, Bill Gates and I share the same birthday. So now it is time to unveil my book and share what my spirit was moved to write as a description on the back cover. Imagine you become aware that you are the next Earth intellect. Would you seek fame and fortune? Probably not. You would be smart enough to realize that being a celebrity would make your life a living nightmare. Your greatest accomplishment would be the achievement of complete peace of mind in a world that seems to have lost its mind. Peace of mind, though, can only be accomplished with purity of spirit, which in turn leads to being handpicked by God for a mission. A mission so bizarre that no one in modern history has attempted it. With the words from Jesus Christ Superstar echoing through his head for decades, one man takes on this mission. Earth has had its Michelangelo, its Shakespeare, its Edison, and its Einstein. But it has never seen anyone like Billy. Others have mastered the laws of physics, the arts, and the study of the mind. But no man has ever been so bold as to show us how we're wasting the brains God gave us. After years of thinking what this meant, I now know how and why to interpret it myself. I am not a genius showing you how to be a genius. I have a system or head game to enhance what you think and how you view the world in a way you have never thought possible. And in doing so, you will be aware your life has changed and you will now be aware of synchronistic events in your everyday walk through this life as well as building a memory unparalleled before. Well, what intel do we have on this Mr. Purple tie? He's been a pest to many departments and a number of our alphabet divisions. Not quite sure what he is up to. But he seems pretty sure of himself. Sources tell us. Mr. Purple tie and his YouTube consciousness might lower the count of those enslaved within the Matrix. Starship Star Vexer, its eternal mission to explain this mind where no mind has gone before. Puzzle pieces have been polyurethane, lacquered, and fiberglass resin in place. We are now about to engage Starship Star Vexer, travel through the mind. Vexter, a mind continuing throughout eternity, forging its way its way many, many multi-dimensional dimensions. dimensions. Sometimes it's sometimes in a dim space, space. space. Sometimes, sometimes it has, it has, it has flashes, flashes. Brilliance. Brilliance. Whoa, 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 that was two whoa. of them that, that just went by. Did you catch them? Catch them I got here. Before 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 Check. Check.